We interrupt this normally scheduled broadcast of Multiplayer Monday here on Signal Ridge to discuss what is the best retro handheld emulator. old question. How can I enjoy my retro gaming goodness on the go? I'd like to think I'm an expert on this subject. I've been on this quest since before, well, any of these devices were available. But to give you a brief history, we'd have to go back to 2009. I mean, I had my Game Boy Advance SP and then eventually the Nintendo DS. But what I really wanted was to play Mega Man X on the go. That was it for me. That was the holy grail. Enter the GP2X Wiz. What a terrible ass name. They couldn't come up with something better? It was 2009, and this little Linux based handheld granted me my wish. But not only that, I could play Ninja Gaiden, Double Dragon, Punch Out, everything I ever wanted. Now, I couldn't tell you the exact amount that I paid, but I'd have to say it was somewhere around 150 to 200 bucks. And it became hard to come by for a brief period. Not much to talk about in terms of features. It had an SD card slot. There was no video out, at least not that I'm aware of, unless the charger port allowed you to, which I don't think it did. Anyways, point is, in 2009, you couldn't get much better than the GP2X Wiz. And then, 2011 came about, and the Sony Xperia Play was released. This time, the OS was Android, and I remember one of the limitations of the Wiz was the ability to play Neo Geo games well. With my Xperia Play, I got to enjoy not only Neo Geo, but I also got to play other arcade games from the Capcom Play System 1 and 2 that The Wiz didn't pull off very well. Two years later, in 2013, I became one of the first backers of the NVIDIA Shield Portable with the specific goal of emulating my retro games on the device. But there was one thing the NVIDIA Shield Portable could not do with its immense power, and that was fit in my pocket. Two years later, enter the GPD XD. This little device has become my go-to. In fact, I sold my Nvidia Shield Portable. Now what I gained in form factor, you might think I sacrificed in terms of power. This thing could compete with my Nvidia Shield Portable any day. If you're looking for a handheld retro emulator, you might want to go with the Pocket Go or, or somewhere else in that direction, and that's fine. Some of those Linux-based handhelds are unbeatable in terms of price. But what you cannot get is the front end and some higher end emulation as well. But let's talk about how you can organize your games on the GPDXD. I'm using an app I bought on the Play Store called Arc Browser, and it's amazing. It collects all the metadata you want. You got box art, fan art, and it just puts everything in a nice, neat package. If you don't care for those sorts of things and you don't really care to emulate something on the level of let's say the N64, then the Pocket Go might be where you want to go. But one of the great things about emulators that run through Android is the seamless integration of cheat codes. Whether it's Game Genie or Pro Action Replay, the ability to put in those codes means you can actually beat some of the games you never were able to. Y'all don't know this, but I actually did kind of cheat for some of those Sega Genesis shoot 'em ups that I've put on the channel. Those damn games are so hard I had to resort to cheating. I suck. See that's what cheat codes do to you. I shouldn't have a guilty conscience. No one can beat those damn games. So if you're on the market for a retro handheld emulator and price is not all that much of a concern. You want high performance. You want features. The GPD XD is the way to go. So that's it for me guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment down below if you have a favorite handheld emulator. It might be one that I'm not aware of. Leave a like. That's two likes, actually. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And I'll catch you guys next time.